Camp Pendleton Housing Office and Camp Pendleton Housing. So you've Googled Camp Pendleton Housing Office, which tells me you probably have orders to Camp Pendleton. And one of the first things on your to-do list is to establish housing. You found Lincoln Military Housing. You realize uh, people aren't too happy with Lincoln Military Housing. You found that the wait list is going to be months, maybe uh, 18 months. And you realize probably going to have to live out in town. Well, congratulations, that's actually an opportunity because there are numerous places around Camp Pendleton that are of joy to live. I've lived at Camp Pendleton, or been stationed at Camp Pendleton twice. My first tour, I was a single officer. I lived out in San Clemente. My second tour, we were married. We lived in Oceanside. And then when we retired after 20 years of service, we moved to the Temecula Marietta area. There are a number of competing factors you're gonna to wanna to take into consideration. One of the considerations, of course, is going to be the cost of living, whatever area you, you choose to reside. Typically, the closer you get to the ocean in Southern California, the greater your housing expense. That's just a fact of life. You live on the beach, you're paying a premium. You live near the beach, you're paying a premium. If you're more inland, like Marietta and Temecula, you pay a little less. However, you're gonna to have to uh, factor in the commute time and the cost of gas, which, as we know, is uh, very expensive right now. Well, one of the questions you're gonna have if you have school-age kids, what are the schools like, right? So, Temecula School District, Marietta Unified School District, excellent schools pretty much across the board. We've been very, very happy with education our kids, our four kids received. Generally speaking, one of the main attractions of the Temecula Marietta area is the high quality of the schools, uh, the broad range of extracurricular activities and sports for the kids, and Oceanside uh, has a little more of a challenge with the, some of their schools. Some of the Oceanside housing is in the Vista School District, which I think is a little bit better rated than Oceanside. You're gonna to wanna to do your homework on that and make a determination of where you think uh, your kids will be best served. So depending upon where you're stationed at the base, uh, you might wanna think about Riverside County or San Diego County or maybe even Ocean or uh, Orange County. So if you're somewhere maybe out of Del Mar on the west end of the, uh, the base, you might want to look at Oceanside, right? That's a nice community, uh, affordable uh, on your, with your housing allowance, uh, lots to do. You're right near the ocean, it's cool, you get nice breezes. The summer you can go enjoy the beach. Oceanside's a nice town. It's not the sailor town it once was 30 or 40 years ago. Fallbrook is nice as well. It's close to the base, right near the uh, weapon station entrance and uh, it's more of a rural community. There's some farms in Fallbrook, there's uh, avocado groves, uh, it's a little warmer. So now if you're on the northern end, northeast side of the base, you might want to think about hmm, Temecula, Marietta. Yeah, it's a beautiful area to live. Some people call it the New Orange County in uh, Southern California. So Temecula has wineries, it's got a wonderful mall, it's got the Pachanga Resort Casino. It's got numerous golf courses uh, and wonderful master plan communities. Paseo del Sol, Paloma del Sol, Wolf Creek, uh, to name a few. Uh, we've sold hundreds of homes in the Murrieta Temecula area and we manage dozens of them on the rental side of our business. Murrieta as well is a wonderful town. It's a little bit more rural than Temecula, but very, very similar in terms of amenities. The schools are great. Menifee is another town very similar to Murrieta and Temecula. It's uh, grown quite a bit over the last five to six years, and a lot of military folks find that uh, it's more affordable in Menifee. A little more of a commute. You're probably adding another 15, 20 minutes to your commute, but it's a nice town. Camp Pendleton Housing Office and Camp Pendleton